Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you why you probably shouldn't be using Apple passwords on your Apple devices and what you can do to make your device much harder to access by a thief who has stolen it. So before I begin, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the video. And I should start this video by saying that if you use your iPhone a lot when out and about, 99% of the time, you'll be able to access your iPhone through Face ID or Touch ID. But in the event that you do need to enter your passcode, shelter it as much as you can. Like when you use your PIN at an ATM. Obscure it as much as you can, because you never know, someone might be watching you. So with iOS and iPadOS 18, Apple released a passwords app. Now previously, if you wanted to access this, you would have had to go into settings, then passwords. So if you're using an older version of iOS, then this still applies to you. But now it's a standalone app and this presents a problem. They then have unlimited access to everything you have. They can change your Apple ID password and lock you out completely from your other Apple devices. What about two-factor authentication, you might say? Well, today, most codes are sent to your iPhone through SMS. So basically, you're screwed. If you have your iPhone and iPad to hand, you can prevent this in two ways. One, use a different password manager app. Some require an entirely different passcode to access them. You could use 1Password, LastPassword, Dashlane and more. Guys, do not store your other app passcodes on your iPhone, even if it's locked, as they can still easily be retrieved by a thief. The second thing you can do is activate stolen device protection, which you can find in settings under Face ID and Passcode. This will alert you on your other devices if your iPhone is in a unfamiliar location. It will also not allow them to change your original passcode, even if they're already into your phone. But they can still change other things within your iPhone. This feature is only on iPhone. Another thing you can do, and this really works, is to change your passcode to alpha numeric. This means that you can choose letters as opposed to words, making it more difficult if a thief obtains your phone and has previously shoulder served you. Lastly, you can do what I do. I often use a lanyard to attach my iPhone to my jeans, so that in the event someone tries to steal your iPhone from your pocket, you will know about it. Such lanyards are very inexpensive. I got mine for about three quid on eBay. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.